Hey guys, what is going on? This is Holly Joe with Help, and in today's video, guys, we'll be taking a look at the iPod Touch 5th generation camera. So, this is the rear facing camera. I will have another test showing you the front facing camera of the 5th generation iPod Touch. So, in this video, we'll be taking a look at how it does indoors, in low light conditions, and outside. So, currently, I'm just in my room without any lighting. As you can see, there is my lighting setup, which I normally use to light up my videos. And as you can see, right now, it's turned off. And there's my Canon T3i and some cables. Uh, but it's actually pretty dark in the room. As you can see right there, just give you a quick pan. There's my guitar and my bed and another laptop. But uh, here's the window. And as you can see, it's um, actually pretty dark outside because the weather is not that good. It's actually really, really cold right now. So yeah, the lighting is um, not exactly the best. So yeah, we'll be taking a look at how the iPod Touch 5th generation does. And so as you can see right now, um, the iPod Touch 5th generation does have out of focus. So if I uh, like want to focus in here, I can just tap on the screen. And as you can see, the background is kind of blurred. So that's really nice because on the 4th generation iPod Touch, you did not have that. So that's really, really nice. So yeah, that is um, inside, and this does not count as a low light test, because I'm going to be going into a room that has less light than here, and I'm going to be showing you that. So let's go ahead and switch to that. Okay, okay so this is um, the room without barely any light, as you can see right there. The footage is probably really, really grainy, because there's almost no light in here, and as you can see right there, but of course, probably it will do better than the iPod Touch fifth generation. So let me go ahead and turn on the flash to see if that can help a bit. Okay, so the flash is now turned on and I guess you can see a big difference. There's my cat. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see when you get closer to an object you can see um, the effect of the flash. However, when you're uh, like this you barely can see it or if I put my hand in there as you can see right there, that does kind of help. There we go. But for situations like this, it almost does not help. But it is a little bit of help. Like, in these situations, it would help. But so, yeah, as you can see, um, in low light, the camera um, is really, really grainy. However, now let's go ahead and go outside and take a look at how the camera does outside. There's my cat. So currently we are outside in my backyard, and as you can see there is my cat, and there is my other cat, and there is my other cat. So my um, female cat just had babies, so that's why I have um, so much little <laughs> babies, and that was just the cat. So I have five cats overall currently, however I will be giving them away. So, as you can see, outside the quality looks pretty good, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and just take a look at some leaves right here. So, just focus on that. And as you can see right there, the depth of field is really, really nice. And this is because the aperture is bigger on this camera. So, here are some more leaves. And as you can see, overall, that does look really nice. So, there we go. There's another cat, and here's another one. So I will be exporting this video in iMovie on my iPod Touch 4th generation and uh, uploading directly from there, so I won't do any editing on my computer. So here's just another leaf. There we go, really nice. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the street to show you some more footage. So here we are in my front yard, I guess you could say. Just a quick pen, there's an ugly tree. And let's go ahead and take a look at the street. So we have a bit more light in here. Let's go ahead and go outside. And so here we are. So probably in daylight the uh, quality will look really really good, in my opinion. Right there, a crazy bird. So yeah. As you 
you can see right there the auto thank you car for not letting me speak uh, but uh, uh, let's just let this car pass again so the auto export here does quite good as you can see right there when I point it to a tree it um, moves the exposure uh, according to the tree and so there are lots of cars so we better go ahead and go in there's my can again there she is <coughs> hello say hello <laughs> yeah she's really shy but so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Just wanted to quickly show you a compare, um, a uh, uh, footage um, from the iPod Touch fifth generation camera. And also, I will be doing a comparison between the fifth generation camera and the fourth generation camera in an upcoming video. And also, if you want to see any videos, please let me know down in the description below. But so yeah, guys, I hope you have a really nice day, and I'll catch you all later.